Hope you all had a fantastic and fruitful week. Now is the time again of the week to learn something new. This is Tridip and you are watching Learn with Tridip. If you have noticed, nowadays many businesses are becoming purpose driven and more customer focused. But why is the need? Simply put, this improves customer satisfaction and brand loyalty. There is a rush nowadays to convert loyal customers to fans. Let's take examples of say clickfunnels.com, a funnel building, CRM and automation driven platform that has a humongous amount of fan followers, not only because they sell an outrageous amount for their affiliates, but because they have changed lives to thousands of their fans. If you search on youtube.com for ClickFunnels, you will see the amount of conversation happening. The customers are themselves promoting the platform. That has become the success metrics of ClickFunnels.com. A similar case is with another extremely powerful tool called DV Builder for WordPress from the Elegant Teams. The fan following is so huge that they address the followers as DV Nation. What I want to draw from here is that it is extremely essential to know our customers and their want. Using visual thinking, we can explore markets and create customer insights. In this video, I will cover visual collaboration techniques like uh, customer segmentation, customer personas, customer journey and competitive landscape analysis. But before we dive in, please like, share and comment if you love this series of visual thinking for business. And if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get instant notification as soon as a new video is uploaded. So without much ado, let's get started. So as usual, the questions that I always face are who typically is involved in exploring the market and creating customer insight or when and where do we explore markets and customer insights and what happens when we explore the markets and create customer insights. Well, marketers and data analysts are the people who gathers customer insights and tries to understand customer behavior and want. There is no specific time to explore market or understand customer insights. It is more or less always on. Many employees who work with customers observe their behavior and needs on a daily basis. Customer needs are even captured through digital touch points like websites, apps, landing pages or social media platforms. On a more strategic level, periodic reviews of CVP or customer value propositions are also taken place. So what happens in a strategic review or CVP? To create insights, many companies segment their customers, create a customer persona, analyze the customer journey and assess the competitive environment to check how they can differentiate their customer offering. Customer segmentation is extremely important to discover homogeneous group of customers with similar needs. The most common factors to segment businesses are primarily demography, age, gender, etc., commercial profitability or future value, product needs basic or advanced, or attitudinal needs like face-to-face -face or remote support. For each segment, we can define one or more jobs to be done or JBD. A customer persona is an extremely interesting thing that helps businesses to empathize better with their customers and understand who they really need and who they would not like to target. A customer persona is a visual representation of a fictional person 
who represents a larger group of customers or a segment. A persona mood board consists of an avatar, a nickname or pseudonym, some demographic facts, maybe a life quote or some description of what is important to them. I will first show you a customer persona mood board and then create some fictitious personas and leave you with some ideas of how to easily create customer personas. So let's put our drawing caps on. Based on E.K. Strong's AIDA model, a customer journey map tells us the story of customer experience. It is visually represented by what a customer do, say, feel and think. Please don't mix this with business process. A customer journey starts long before a company interacts with a customer and it ends when the customer starts using the product or service. Drawing up the competitive landscape helps us to see how our CVP stands out compared to our competitors. We generally draw a matrix with the brands from our competitors at one end and the key differentiators with respect to CVP at other end. We bring this competitive landscape to life by using scoring mechanisms.
so that's all folks see you soon in my next video where i will cover a very important topic idea generation till then goodbye don't forget to like share and comment on this video that will motivate me to bring such informative videos every week also if you are a first time visitor do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of all our upcoming updates so happy viewing and happy learning